screens are made of and the stuff that opponents' nightmares are made of. Last night, Bruno's opponent was Rudy Gar of Belgium. And there at the ringside to watch Bruno, the man he might yet have to face was the comeback boy, Joe Buck. Bruno returns to London following his second round knockout over Ali Lukusa of Zaire in West Berlin just a few days ago. And his opponent tonight, well, they've had a few opponents for Bruno in this fight. And this, I think, is the third or maybe even the fourth opponent that uh, has been brought in for him. Anyway, finally we've settled on the former Belgian heavyweight champion, the roly-poly figure of Rudy Gower, who is no stranger to this ring because it was here that he fought John L. Gardner a couple of years ago for the vacant European heavyweight champion. He went nine rounds with John L. Gardner before he turned it in. Now, how far will he go with Bruno? begin to sink into the soft I was going to say the underbelly but that would be illegal but somewhere in that mound of flesh around the ribs of God and again right into the ribs and Gower a man who clearly has seen his best days champion Bruno seems to be hitting him absolutely at will and Goey I don't think quite knows what's happening to him with the red marks where he's been forced up against the ropes. Go away, 15 stone two. Bruno, 15 six. Oh, well, I think we'll mark that one down for Bruno. Well, there were moments in that first round when Go away, Belgium, didn't quite know what was so happening to him, trapped in a neutral corner and just having to take everything that Bruno threw and perhaps it's a sign of his strength that he didn't go down. barely 20 seconds in well look at that right hand driven right through to the back of his head you won't see a better right hand than that the man had gone completely twisted his leg hurt himself and split his nose all that done with one right hand from this sensational youngster 21 year old Frank Bruno by any standards it was an impressive win and afterwards I asked Joe Bugner the former European heavyweight champion how he rated Britain's best heavyweight prospect I think Frank's got a very, very good style. There's no question about it. But um, I think he's still very raw. Um, I would uh, like to have seen him against somebody who threw more than two punches in the whole two rounds. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to knock the young fella because he's um, obviously very, very raw. But, oh. uh, well, he's only had a few fights. Exactly. I mean, seven or eight fights. Or so you can't judge him. But uh, he certainly looked good. Um, I just hope, you know, that they give him a better opposition next time for now, his own if we, sake. if we just play you again the finish of the fight and I just tell us you know how you felt about this finish good he right seems, hand he seems to have uh, you now know, would you like to have taken that right um I don't think he would have got me with that right hand uh -huh. Harry. different thing altogether yes Absolutely. he wouldn't have been standing around game. waiting no, to take uh, right but like I said you know in a, maybe another year 18 months time I think he'll be a much better fighter now, do you think that in a year or 18 months' time that there's going to be a clash between the two of you? I certainly hope so, because boxing needs it. And uh, if Bruno wants to make a lot of money, 
So does Joe Bugner and uh, right. Double B's, eh? How about that, Harry? It would make a lot of money, Joe. I certainly hope so, and uh, I hope he improves, and I hope uh, he doesn't get knocked off in the meantime. And I hope you'll come back. Continues to go well. Thank you again, Harry.